Welcome to my TEDx kind of talk today on the University of Texas campus. Um, I'm going to be talking about something that is very important in American culture today, and that is the link between fast food and obesity. We're going to be determining if there is, in fact, a link between fast food and obesity, and maybe even tackling some of the myths that exist as such. So first, if we can, can we get a show of hands to see how many of you actually believe that there is a link between fast food and obesity? That's right, just, just raise your hands up. So it doesn't take a genius uh, to figure out that, at least in our minds uh, and in our culture, we definitely link the two together. Um, and so let's take a look here. Here's some data from the World Health Organization put out in 2007. Uh, and you can see here uh, the prevalence of overweight people in the Western world. For instance, the United States on the left in green is at 74.1%. That means that 74.1% of people are overweight in the United States. We contrast that with Ireland in the right-hand side at 466 And we have New Zealand, Australia, United Kingdom, and Canada kind of in the muddled middle right there. So the question is, does fast food play a role in that? Well, we can't deny that people in America certainly love their fast food. So what is one possible reason that they eat so much fast food? Well, if you take a look at this graph here, you can see it's contrasting 1984 with 2011 and how much people spend on, on food in general. And you'll notice that, um, that over time, that the rate, the amount of money that people are spending on food has decreased, especially in the middle 20% and the highest 20%. And that is because people uh, like cheap. People like to eat cheap food, and cheap food is generally associated with fast food. I believe that this cluster analysis clearly indicates that. I mean, you can just look at it and see for yourself. Let's take a second definitely backs up my assertion right there. So I hypothesize that we are looking at fast food wrong, that we need to start looking at all fast food as unhealthy. And let's look at the two largest fast food chains in the world, McDonald's and Subway. Um, most people would say that Subway is healthier than McDonald's. However, um, is that true? Let's take a look. In fact, researchers at UCLA have found that Subway is just as unhealthy as the golden arches of McDonald's. We can take a look at this summarization right here, and we can see uh, that when people think of these two restaurants, here are some of the key words that pop up. Calories is large. Fast, you can see, is very large in the center right there. Off to the left, eat young. I don't think those two things go together. I don't think they're trying to say that that people like to eat their young. I think that's very Jonathan Swift-esque. Um, over on the right, we have uh, sodium is a large word, so there's lots of salt. So you can see this is kind of the way this, this, this um, summarization of words helps us to see how people interpret these two restaurants. And here is just kind of a sample menu between the two right here. Um, the average values, the average caloric intake right here. So at McDonald's, you're looking at pulling in about 1,038 calories per meal, whereas at Subway, it's not that much healthier at 955. That's a difference of 83. Um, you also notice that the cost of the meal at Subway is considerably more. Uh, it's averages about $6.14 versus $4.46 over at McDonald's and you can look down this and you can see that um, Subway is definitely not as healthy as they purport for instance sodium uh, level which is a big word over in that uh, summarization in the previous slide uh, sodium is quite a, a bit higher actually at Subway than at McDonald's so what this researcher uh, lesser determined uh, is that the average adolescent consumed about 1,038 calories at McDonald's versus 955 calories at Subway when the Institute of Medicine actually recommends that uh, st students and, and adolescents consume no more 
than 850 calories in their school lunches. So one way that we can look at that um, is this idea of a health halo, that certain companies want to portray themselves as being healthier than others, um, and they spend a lot of marketing money on that. Of course, I don't have data to back that up, but um, I would assume that Subway spends a lot of their money uh, making it so that it seems as though they are the healthier alternative. I mean, just look at Jared, who's disgraced now, but certainly was the image of, of health and weight loss at the time. Um, at the end of the day, however, Subway and McDonald's are both still fast food. So I sincerely want to thank you for coming out to my TED Talk. No, no, please. You can stop with the applause. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. You can throw roses. That's okay. Um, so I hope you learned something. I hope you really were wowed by all my data and my um, conclusions that I brought to you, and I hope that they were insightful. So thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.